It was March 2020 when the reality of the COVID-19 pandemic hit home in the U.S. when the NBA suspended its season, it seemed to give permission for other closures and stay-at-home orders, and they quickly followed. At that point, there'd only been around 3, 000 confirmed cases of the disease and about 60 confirmed COVID deaths. Fast forward two years and the numbers are staggering. According to estimates from Johns Hopkins University, as of Wednesday there have been over 79 million confirmed COVID cases and over 960, 000 deaths. Several million have been hospitalized and millions more have reported symptoms that linger for weeks or even months, with unknown consequences moving into the future. It's massively higher than I thought, says Robert Wachter, chair of the Department of Medicine at the University of California, S. Particularly when in November 2020 the announcement came out that we had a vaccine that was 95% effective. Amanda Costell, a professor of epidemiology at George Washington University's Milken Institute School of Public Health, said in an email that she's also surprised that the pandemic is still go. In retrospect, I think I was hopeful that it would be more self-limited, like the SARS pandemic. The worst of the pandemic is behind us, experts told Forbes, in part because the first two years provided valuable tools for the continued fight against both COVID and future disease epidemics. Ignoring the pandemic in lower-income countries, they say, could mean new variants making their way back to the US. One lesson the experts didn't expect to learn was how polarizing the response to the pandemic could be, especially as time went on.